My name is Kevin Tokoff. In this video, we're going to discuss the theory behind the catalase test. All right, catalase is an enzyme that detoxifies hydrogen peroxide into water and molecular oxygen, as you can see in this reaction right here. Um, hydrogen peroxide is actually a dangerous molecule in any organism because it's prone to forming radicals, uh, which can actually damage DNA and proteins and lipids. And the catalase test is one of the most important tests in differentiating between the staphylococci, which are catalase producers, and streptococci, which do not produce catalase. Okay, so that's a key here. We can use this to distinguish between staphylococcus and streptococcus. Okay, so when catalase disproportionates, which is just a type of reaction, when it disproportionates hydrogen peroxide, into water and molecular oxygen, it turns out the oxygen is actually a gaseous molecule and it will actually bubble off. In fact, humans make catalase. We actually express this enzyme. You should do an experiment next time you skin your knee on the ground. What do most people do when you skin your knee on the ground? You take some hydrogen peroxide. It's usually in those brown bottles, right? You pour some, usually either pour it or put it on a cotton ball, put it on the wound. And I guarantee you what you'll see next time you do that is you'll see bubbles produced. Why? Because your body produces catalase to protect from hydrogen peroxide that's naturally produced in your body. But if you take some from the outside environment, like from the bottle, it'll still produce those oxygen bubbles and you'll be able to see those. So therefore, the key with a catalase test is the catalase test is positive if bubbles are observed after adding the hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so a fairly simple result to observe. This is kind of what they should look like. If bacteria express catalase, and an example of that would be Staphylococcus, then oxygen bubbles are going to be evolved, as you can see here on the top right here. You can clearly see some bubbles. You can see them down here also for that catalase positive result. Okay, if it's catalase negative, such as right here or on the bottom of the top picture, such as um, streptococcus, then no catalase is expressed or made by the bacteria, and those results are gonna be catalase negative, okay? So make sure to watch the demonstration on the catalase test.